We're in Northern Ireland now with four-time T13 Paralympic visually impaired sprint champion and 100 and 200 meter world record holder, Jason Smith. I was diagnosed with Stargardt's, the eye disease, when I was eight years old, so that's what's restricted my vision to where it is today. So I have about 5-10% vision. Everything I see is blurry. I often make out images because of colour contrast rather than seeing the detail. I started athletics when I was 16, which is fairly late for most people who are involved. And I very quickly got to a point where I realised that athletics is what I wanted to do. In my first year, I qualified to compete at the Youth Commonwealth Games in Australia. And I thought, wow, a trip to Australia for free. I could get used to this. Sprinting creates huge amounts of opportunity that for me you would never get in anything else. How many people get the opportunity to compete in front of thousands of people, the excitement of winning, representing your country, and things like that you cannot put a price on. So to have the opportunity to do so, it really is incredible. Sprinting without a doubt is very precise. People look at it and think he just runs as fast as he can from A to B, but it's so technical. And when we're talking hundreds of seconds between first and last, it is so important to get every little bit right. When you're out in the track, standing behind the blocks, the thing that usually is in my mind is focusing on my race, is focusing on the things that I want to execute. Everything else is irrelevant. Everything else has no impact positively on what you're about to do. You hear in sport a lot of times that people either perform in the big occasions or people find it difficult. But for me, I, I love that. I love that feeling, that, that hair is standing up in the back of my neck. Confidence is massive. The difference is often mental. Being confident in you and what you're about to do is the difference between, I think, the difference between winning and losing. Reacting's a massive part of, of starting. Your sole thought has got to be listening for the gun and listening with the intent to react. If you can clear everything else out and focus on that, then generally you know you can be quite consistent in reacting. The art of running fast is about executing the race and that goes from the reacting all the way till you cross your line and you'll see it's time and time again is often the guy that puts his race together is the guy who wins. The gym works hand in hand with what running I do on the track. There is specific body parts that have the highest priority. When we think of sprinting, you're using the lower body. It's about glutes, deadlift, squat, cleans, obviously the other parts of the lower body, hamstring, quads. And there is also an emphasis generally on being strong. So we still do work, you know, upper body, but the emphasis is how we can generate strength and power to, to run fast. Gym is, is a massive part of trying to keep injury free. Now, it obviously doesn't guarantee being injury free, but the stronger you are, then the more likely your body is able to cope with what's going on in the track. So when you think of how much force you're putting through your body to run fast, you need to be strong for your body to, to hold those positions and be able to explode and run at those speeds. Preparations have been going very well for Rio. It's really been since London that the preparations have started and each year has been a step onto the next year and, and obviously now to Rio. This year I have run quicker than I have in a few years so I feel that I'm in a nice place. It's about just fine tuning things and making sure I keep injury free and healthy to go out there and hopefully perform well and run fast. I want to end my running career looking back realizing and knowing that I have done everything I could to be the best I can. That's one of the things that motivates me to continually try run fast. The other thing is I know often with disabilities people look and think he shouldn't be able to achieve that or he can't achieve that and that's something that I like to try break is those barriers of what people believe is possible. That's why I've always set my goals high. It's about changing people's perception and I think that's what um, one of the main things that inspire me.